This video will demonstrate the use of the Rockware command language to automate the process of cross-section generation. First, I'll create a borehole location map, and using the polyline drawing tools, I'll create three cross-section lines. I'll right-click on each line and save them as XY polyline tables in the Borehole Manager database. These section lines can now be accessed through the Project Manager and can be used when manually creating cross-sections as well as in RCL scripts. Next, I'll go to the Strip Logs menu and choose to create a cross-section. I'll set up my 2D strip log design and create an example cross-section to confirm that I'm happy with the general layout of the diagram. Once I'm satisfied, I'll save the 2D strip log settings as an RCL file through the strip log designer. And I'll create a sample RCL file for the menu tree settings through the menu button in the upper left hand corner. I'll copy this RCL script into a text editor to make further modifications. The RCL reference section in the help files is a great place to find information about RCL definition and execute commands that are not easily found through the menu tree summary tool. First, I'd like to reference the RCL file containing my strip log design. This is done by first adding a define command listing the name of the RCL file and then inserting an execute command to run the RCL. I'll add this to the top of the script so that these strip log settings are loaded before cross sections are generated. Next, I'll move the section title definition command to the bottom of the script. The section title will change from section to section while the rest of these settings will remain constant. Next, I'll reference one of the polyline tables so that the script knows where to place the cross section. And finally, I'll add a command to assign a name to the rockplot 2D file being created. I'll update the script to include this block of commands for each cross section. I'll then save the RCL file and run it through the project manager. The diagrams are displayed as they are created and can be accessed later through the project manager. Thanks for watching. For more details on RCL, please see the advanced RCL video as well as the RCL case study posted on the Rockware website.